Welcome, everybody, to another episode of FBS. How are you doing over there? This is Season 3, Episode 4, if you've been following along. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FBS. I missed you so much, and I'm sure you've missed me. I'm more wonderful than Tyler. So our first video is very interesting because it never happens to me. I always go to a convention and I always go around in the lobby and I always just stand there and everybody takes pictures, but nobody ever asks me out on a date. I'm just saying that maybe in this video, somebody is going to get lucky. Do I sit here? Yeah, sit. What's up? Oh, no, stay seated. I want to stay seated, sir. You're, you're freaking everyone. I want to stay seated. All right. Is that no, actually, question? you're not. You're not supposed to drink in here, but uh. I was promised booze. Tell us about yourself. Uh, hi, I um. So uh, my my name is Flip, um, and I'm I'm just I, I'm looking for a uh, a woman. That uh, I don't. I just. Oh um, hi, my name is Scurro. Sir, I, sir, look at the camera. Hi, hi, my name is Scurro. I am uh, not 90% squirrel and 30% wolf and 100% for you, uh, the beautiful girl watching this. An interesting fact about this video is it was recorded on a 1984 VHS recorder. So to perspective of the younger crowd, this video is much like MySpace. Watching this video, I realized that these furries are picking up girls. And then I realized that y'all don't know my actual sexual orientation. So I've made my own dating video. Here it is. So, uh, is this where I auditioned for the, uh, porno? So I'm looking for the perfect... Perfect for my every night dreams. I can't wait to have that... Perfect in my bed laying down. And I also want to have something that at least I can grab onto. And I know those... Are perfect for me. I hope that the perfect thing is out there for me. A little spooky for the girls out there, though, in this video. I mean, you have to wake up to one of these furries right next to you. Could you imagine waking up to this? Did anybody notice one thing in this video? This guy's scarf. It certainly seems to be really gay. So just saying, you know, they might all play for the other team, ladies. Or hell, they might play for both. Whenever I try to wake up somebody in a hotel room, especially at a convention, I usually just stand over top of them like this. Wake up, wake up, wake And then they get really angry, so it doesn't work out so much for me. But for Telephone, who's my favorite favorite with the squeaking sound, she certainly does a great job. Hey. So here's another video again, this time Telephone watching somebody sleep. Let's also recall the time that she killed that girl, and also the time she broke into that person's house on Christmas. So, if Telephone's in your area, I would probably go ahead and call the furry police. Is it just me, or the person that was laying down totally didn't shut off the telephone alarm? And it was loud. So, if I was in that apartment, I'd be like, mm -mm, you better shut off that alarm or we're gonna have some problems. I have a question here. I went to Google to see if I could find a telephone alarm and I typed in furry telephone alarm and it ended up with this. Now, maybe that's it. I mean, it could just be where telephone calls you and squeaks or telephone actually talks to you for real. So sometimes I get sleepy too because I have to sit on the side and wait until Siler's done with his segment and then I'm ready to go, and when I'm ready to go, I'm all awake. However, this guy certainly was not awake at this convention. <laughs> I've been waiting for one of these videos for a long time. So let's praise this moment. Praise with me a furry failing. 
Actually, I really couldn't tell if this video came from 2003 or 1980. Mostly because it was a furry con party and, well, you know how furries dress. I like how this guy falls asleep like Rip Van Winkle, but have you actually ever been to a furry room party and listened to the conversation? And fall asleep too, I bet. I couldn't help but notice in one part of this video something very important. It was from 2003, right? Look at this. Black people went to furry cons. I'm just joking everybody, of course, because I don't want anybody coming after me and being like, mm -mm, I know you didn't just do that. Mm -mm. Go and look at the actual video. You'll notice that there's somebody snoring, obviously. And then there is a burping, which you can clearly hear. Probably a little bit of farting. And then all of the furries who have their... But I'm sure after all this was done, that this room party didn't go exactly as it was supposed to, so they reworked it. And that's how we came up with Room 366. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Tell your friends, make sure they watch, because it's really, really helpful. Also, see that button down below? That's for subscriptions. Make sure you do it if you haven't seen us before. Make sure you favorite, because when you favorite, that also helps us. And helping us is helping me. And then, of course, I might give you hugs and stuff like that. And I'm sure you want my hugs. The last thing I wanted to say is make sure to stay subscribed to me because, well, there's going to be exciting news about me for FWA. Yeah!